Moby's analysis of episode 53. Now I know y'all been waiting for it, the new analysis that Moby's made, but there's a lot of other analysis videos like 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 iso toilet and i seen elite cameraman so let me know if you guys want me to react to those analysis as well um and yeah let's get into our boy moby's video everyone you are on the moby channel and i am hey, glad moby. to see you hey. on the channel again and this morning a new 53 episode of skibbity toilet was released the realist is certainly not the longest episode but it is very rich and many up. different details up. and secrets so in this video i will analyze the 53 episode in detail and also read your theories from comments so right now put a like let's get 15,000. let's see did i like oh yeah i really like i gotta make sure every time because i'm a real supporter man likes under this video like, i guarantee you i ain't even like that video yet go and subscribe to the channel because we have almost reached the 150,000 subscribers mark we are moby is so famous starting way too famous for me bro the episode begins with the cameraman stepping on the skibbity toilet and from the very first frames you can notice the camera woman who was first yo i never noticed that everybody was telling me in the comments and i hear y'all bro don't think i don't be reading y'all comments i'll read almost all of them mugs every all of them because it's a lot but i read most of them and i seen that y'all was like bro you missed it in your analysis video i already told you i'm not the professional i just want to make my own so i can really analyze and get some information in early on but i, I didn't see that the, the the camera woman could teleport i ain't gonna lie we're, we're up cameraman is up yeah i hate it shown to us in the last 52 episode in it she clearly showed us her abilities and i assumed that in this episode she also used them also in the hands of tall and strong cameramen you can notice two sticks or most likely it's iron pipes i think they were inspired by the act of the brave ninja cameraman when he yeah, alone we got weapons. two plungers went against the army of big skibbity mutants and apparently they followed his example only instead of plungers they took two pipes we also see how skibbity toilets fly away from something very scary for them and a second later we see how the titan cameraman and all uh, they are destroyed, <laughs> leaving no chance of their survival. Dickhead. Then the camera turns and we see our hero, the mini titan cameraman, Look at him. Yeah. who apparently recently eliminated the enemy. Also in this frame you see a tall cameraman and a big speaker man. Moment of silence for the, for the speaker man, bro. Thank you, he's a real one, bro. Despite his whole entire faction going extinct, despite all his Titan not being around, instead of the TV men being at the base, whatever, ooh, ooh, he's out on the front lines fighting, bro. I got newfound respect for speakers after this man right here. At the moment, there are very, very few speaker men left. I would even say that there are two of them left. And we saw them both for the last time in episode 50, when they fled from the Skibbity Mutants. Then a brand new- That's the last- Nah, that can't be the last two. Skibbity Toilet appears out of nowhere. He it has a powerful cannon, an incomprehensible helmet. Do you think that they're trying to make the speaker man go extinct? Because that the, him attacking the speaker man out of everybody else seems kind of targeted. You know what I mean? Like it seemed like that's what he wanted to do out of anything else. That was his main objective. Maybe they're trying to make the speaker man tie in cut all ties with the speakers in general. Because when he comes to and there's nobody there left, he might just stay with Jimmy. Maybe I don't know. That would be crazy. And an unknown mechanism on its body. Apparently, the scientist Skibbity Toilet took as a basis the toilet, which we first saw in episode 48, and its mechanism itself reminds me of some kind of magnetic reactor. And then a terrible thing happens. After all, this toilet kills the last big speaker man with a powerful charge of its cannon. After the mini titan realized what was happening, he headed for this opponent and he was ready to shoot the ninja cameraman. But then the cameraman titan appears, who wanted to get rid of the enemy Ugh. with the blow of his jet hammer, but he managed to dodge. Then the titan cameraman I tried to destroy it with my rail gun, and I couldn't hit it because it was incredibly fast and then abrupt. Why did he just start speaking for the cameraman? <laughs> what in the world? He disappeared. I assume that Skibbity Toilets invented a teleport similar to the teleport of TV man's agents, but only the technology of toilets is more invisible and fast. Then the camera turns and we see the Titan cameraman and by the way, you can notice a small upgrade on him because shoulders. he had these two huge guns on his big yep. shoulders. And by the way, at the very beginning of this episode, he used them against Skibbity Toilets. Then we see how he someone calls to him, the camera turns and we see the new inventions of the cameraman. Also when the camera turned, you could see their helicopter, which was first shown Indeed. to us in episode 52. You can also see that each cameraman has his own weapon. Yep. This is a new blaster. We lit. Similar to the one that the Knowles from Star Wars had, but we have not yet been shown how it works. 
perhaps it will fire the same way as the Titan cameraman's rail gun, or as a laser cannon, which was first shown to us in episode 50 on the basis of cameraman. Indeed. Now let's analyze in detail the new tank of cameraman agents, as can be understood from this blue glow, it will work approximately the same way or exactly the same as the very first laser gun of my fault. I'm not really saying nothing or talking. I just see me because he's really going in. He's in his bag right now and we just watch it. Cameraman, which they invented in episode 35. In the same episode, they tested it and it frees the agent from the effects of the parasite. In the same episode, they tested it on Titan Speaker Man but its power was not enough to eliminate the parasite on Titan, then the cameraman. R. Scientists R. invented a camera car with a laser, but all and then it got blocked, yup. Already more powerful, and in episode 38 they almost succeeded in freeing the Titan speaker man from the skibbity parasite, but they were prevented by the Titan G toilet and destroyed this machine and now, after my thing is i wonder how he just knew like he was like nah they're gonna try to get my boy let me let me hop in the way get it yes yes like no bro so like, many episodes it's hard him, bro y'all ever notice that jimmy's face like g-man's face is just so much more expressive than every other skibidi he's so ugly Fists of the cameraman again created this beam and implemented it into an armored powerful tank and as you can see it is controlled by two scientists, scientists cameramen one is like, responsible for the gun and the other for driving and this is actually very thoughtful, because in a real tank in the same way, one is responsible for the gun, and the other for driving. For this realistic and thoughtful detail, the author definitely likes. Also the armor of this tank resembles the armor of the Skibbity Mutant that we saw in episode 46. Somewhat. Then the tanks pass, the cameraman approaches the camera and shows us a like. Which means that it's time for you to like this video and subscribe to Already the channel did. if you haven't done it yet. And also this like of cameraman's agent means that they are ready. Now have y'all subscribed to this channel or are you just watching not subscribed? Enjoying your daily cozy content with no subscription? For battle and nothing can stop them. This is where this 53rd episode ends and, logically, the 17th season of Skibbity Toilet ends with it. Now let's briefly discuss the entire 17th season, and I will do a more detailed analysis of the entire 17th season in the next video. In season 17 we were shown the formation of a new hero, who has yep. several names. This is Ninja Cameraman, yep. Plunger Cameraman, and based on the latest episodes this is Mini Titan Cameraman. Also in this season we were shown a new character this universe. This is Camera Woman, who has a very cool ability that can simply be called Aimbot, we were also shown new inventions by cameraman scientists, and most important, the season of the cameraman. I think we're about to shift into the season of the speakers, probably. Yeah, that probably makes sense. We were shown how the long-awaited return of their Titan cameraman was reflected on cameraman agents. He and the ninja cameraman were able to gather all cameramen together again. Now they are no longer afraid of their enemy and not they are hiding from him. They are ready to fight back against him and I am sure that they will succeed. Loving them, bro. Go cameras. In the final battle, Slay. They will also be helped by agents of TV mans. And it is even possible that a new updated Titan TV man will come to the final battle. What do I expect from season 18? In season 18, we will have 54, 55, and 56 episodes. I think that next season we will not be shown the final battle yet. Most likely the season will be dedicated to the release of the Titan Speaker Man and since he has not appeared in the series for a very long time, it means that the Skibbity Scientist improves and updates him so that he can somehow resist the updated Titan Cameraman. By the way, the author himself writes about this episode that cameramen are finally winning, telling us that cameramen have finally really started to win Skibbity Toilets. Also. If you want to somehow study in detail the map on which the events of this episode take place, then it is called like this. Also if you think that at the very beginning there was not a camera woman, but some other character, then the author also laid out a model that he took as the basis for the character camera woman. And now we finally move on to the constant and my favorite category on my channel. Theory so for everybody telling me that wasn't a camera woman, look, you look dumb and you look very silly buddy. Because all of y'all wanted to tell me, Koji, that's not a camera would be disobeyed. Are you serious? Well, now how you look? He's from the comments. 
Theory number one is that in the next episode we may be shown the battle of Titan Cameraman and Titan Speaker Man. Yeah. Also the author of this theory also noticed an upgrade from Titan Cameraman and he also suggests that Titan TV Man may return earlier than we expect, I partially agree with his theory, but I assume the whole battle of Titan Cameraman and the Titan Speaker Man will be stretched to us for the whole season. Probably. Something like this we have already seen in season 16, when the Titan TV Man chased the Titan Speaker Man all season and only in the last episode of the season, we were shown the whole battle. Thank you for an interesting theory. And we move on to the next theory number two. The author of this theory tried very hard and rolled out such a Yo, huge that's text. that's a really big theory, man. But it is very interesting. The author of this theory says that he noticed how cameramen now work together as one big team. Now they do not rely only on their Titan. They invented tanks and started using weapons instead of. Well, yeah, because Titan cameraman, when he's fighting Speaker and Jimmy and everything, like he can't focus on his people. And that's what I was trying to tell y'all, bro. Like we're ready for this battle. Like cameramen are all ready. We have like, and I was in my Discord and somebody was asking me like, well, what do you think? Uh, do you think that he's going to get infected? And I'm like, no, because he has the assassin cameraman and he also has the, the woman. He has everybody. He has the whole team. He's leading them. So they have his back the same way. Uh, he has their back, so they they can be focused on different objectives all at the same time to get one goal, and that's to beat the toilets, bro. So, yeah, bro. Hand to hand battle, and this is the log. Ironically, because Skibbity toilets are mainly attacked only in melee, and at the moment they don't have many toilets that have guns or laser eyes. About the new type of Skibbity toilet, the author writes that Skibbity is a scientist has reached a new level by creating this character and what we saw in the episode may not be teleportation and invisibility, his assumptions for season 18. This is the battle of the Titan cameraman with the Titan speaker man and it is possible that they will show us. The updated glitch toilet. Thank you for your theory. It is very interesting. Now we turn to theory number 3. It lies in the fact that, perhaps in season 18, the Titan Speaker Man will receive an improvement in the form of teleportation, just like the new Skibbity Toilet. Also the glasses that we last saw on G Toilet in episode 49 can improve his laser vision after the battle with the Titan TV Man. Yeah, I thought, but somebody had coined a theory that he lost his vision because of TV Man, so I, I mean Cinema Man, so I mean, I guess we just gonna have to wait and find out. Thanks for the theory, we're moving on. Theory number four is that a new kind of Skibbity Toilet Created on the principle of Titan's TV Man, in episode 47, Titan Speaker Man smashed the screen of Titan TV Man, and also Skibbity Toilet sawed off some of its parts from Titan, then Skibbity Scientist studied these details and created this mutant. The theory is interesting and maybe it will turn out to be true. Wow. Thank you. Once again, another botched mistake by TV people. And we go surprise, further surprise. to the final fifth theory. It is that Skibbity Scientist is developing very quickly and causing a lot of trouble to cameraman agents, but because they are a team, they can still win and also the author of this theory says that the blue glow of the cameraman plunger can it means that an antiparasitic cannon is built into it and when infected agents or a titan speaker man attacks Imagine. it, it activates this ability. Also, that would, wow, okay. So, the author of this theory noticed that there are very few speaker man agents left. I personally think that there is only one speaker man left and perhaps the cameraman will improve him so that he will fight back against the toilets and avenge his race of speaker men. Well, you have written a lot of different interesting theories. I even think that I will devote a whole video to your theories. Mm -mm -mm. I feel so bad for speaker people. Could it be me though? Hope you guys enjoyed the video right there. Let me know what else I should react to down below in the comments and what I should do. Uh, and yeah, bro, I can't wait for this new season. I can't wait for Speaker Man Titan to get his revenge, or maybe not. I don't know. Still think TV people might betray us. Who knows? But we're just gonna have to find out in the next iteration of the Skibidi Toilet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, and I'll see you guys next one. Love all y'all. Peace out.